rising. I just heard a perspective about growth that really resonated and I wanted to share. Imagine telling a child about the man or woman or adult person that, that, that they would become, that they are going to become, right? So I have a little brother who's eight, like, I'm trying to, like, imagining trying to tell him about, like, what it's like to be me when I was also little. He can kind of conceive of that, and he's also really, this boy is very, very, very brilliant. Um, so I feel like he would get it, but also it's not something that he would be able to be yet because it just takes uh, not so much time but growth like physical growth there are things that he literally needs to develop he doesn't even have puberty yet like oh yeah rather he hasn't had gone through puberty yet so he doesn't have certain parts of himself that are activated and things like activate throughout our lives based on certain things that we pass and experiences that we have so like at a certain age you know puberty comes in um which with it comes with a new influx of hormones and a whole new perspective and also like your perspective is constantly shifting as you're going through this time from going from child to adult if you're thinking like literally perspective as you get taller the world is different because a dog does not see the world that we do because it's low down to the ground and so and you grow and you experience and you learn things and you unlearn things and you, you know, and I feel like that when I heard it, it resonated and it made me feel like I felt like, whoo, a load uh, off my shoulders, relief in that growth and like progress and moving forward is not something that has to be like struggled for because it's happening. Um... I heard a video yesterday from this man, Aaron. I don't know his last name. starts with a D. I will find it and put it in the description. Um, and he was talking about how we do not, our beliefs don't create reality. Because reality is essentially, if you think about it, like a stream that is constantly flowing already. And our beliefs creating our reality is really creating our perception and our ability to access that reality. Because of what we perceive of our connection to it. Does that make sense? Um, I'm going to make a video about beliefs because beliefs are really cool when you get to like learn them, learn about them and get intimate and close with them, um, dissect them, make friends with them. Um, and that was really cool to think about. Like, so it takes the load off of trying to be like, I have to make these things happen. Like these good things happen. I have to like be on my shit like ah like you do have to have discipline and you have to have have like good habits um and you know a really strong and beautiful mindset and all the things yes there are things that you have to do on this end and also it's really nice resting and knowing that like there's also a lot of work that you don't have to do you're like not the mechanism that's you're not the how really I mean you are you are literally the how but also like in terms of like if you're driving a car right now the most work that I'm doing is tapping the gas like I don't have to be the engine you feel what I'm saying like there is an engine already um and that's like yeah in our case the way we view it in physical reality is time because that's what you would think of uh, from a child growing into a man because there's such physical changes in that too um, but when you remove the physical and make it about growth in general I feel like it's a very <sighs> nice perspective uh, very um, I feel a lot more relieved and relaxed um, so I'm happy about that and I hope everybody has a wonderful hump day I love hump day. I really did not, and I used to be like, oh, the middle of the week. Every day is a joy for me, honestly. Because I get to do something different, like, every day. Every week is different. And, I mean, we'll talk about that more. <laughs> Have a great day.